Well, good morning, my off-grid YouTube friends. Uh, this is an update. Um, this is Wednesday after I installed my um, heat exchanger in my house for my outdoor wood boiler. Uh, yesterday, I actually ended up unhooking it, putting a different rad on because the configuration that that has is just blowing into my basement, making my basement 200 degrees. But it's not coming up in the house it's not going through the house it's not shutting the thermostat off that i installed on sunday but uh so anyways we decided yesterday that i need to take that unit that i have that you saw in my last video and i need to install it into my ductwork right beside my old furnace my old furnace well not old it's brand new like three years ago it's a gas furnace um my goal is to eliminate that but the Ontario Building Code here in Canada says that I cannot use my outdoor wood boiler as my only source of heat. I have to have something else source of heat in my house. My shop's fine, but not the house. Because some dickhead, probably in Ottawa or somewhere, made this stupid rule and uh he's probably a millionaire and doesn't care about anything and he's probably got some shares in the gas company anyways that's another video all told don't even get me started so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install it right beside my own furnace into the ductwork so it goes through my house shuts off the thermostat when needed um all it was doing is taking the heat out of the water and making my boiler run and run and run and run and run and run and i used a lot of wood that's, uh, it wasn't being efficient. <clears throat> um, it, it, you know, and this is just trial and error. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, nobody's taught me, but my friend in, uh, in Burke's Falls, Leonard, uh, if anybody's up in Burke Falls, stop at the old Cutter Camp, and uh, stay, he's right on Magnetowan River, great place. Anyways, um, so yeah, the, the gas furnace, my goal is to later on, get rid of the gas furnace because and put an electric furnace in there and people say no don't go electric well I have to have another source of heat in my house so if I go electric it doesn't cost a dime when it's not working but my gas furnace still costs me $56 a month because it's the only thing on gas and I get oh all these stupid you know delivery charge and retirement fund you know who's gonna pay my retirement I don't see the gas company paying my retirement. So anyways, that's going to be another video. And it's, you know what, that's going to be a party at the other end of that one. So today I'm going to be uh, going down there. It's already unhooked. I put another rat on, so we're just going to move that over. And uh, we're going to try to install all this. And I'll have to go down to Home Depot and get some pipe. Some uh, three-quarter inch pipe packs to uh, run it because i got to go across my uh, basement. And hopefully by the end of the day, we have it all up and running, and uh, this will be part two of the installing the heat exchanger in my basement. So, have fun and follow along. And there it is. That there is the stand for the heat exchanger to sit on. Well, there's the unit. I'll cut out the plenum the ductwork I mean and there's the unit beside my other furnace as you can see sorry about the mess but uh, it is a dungeon uh, of a basement well there it is there's the new thermostat for the boiler that's the thermostat for my gas furnace this is upstairs basically right above my furnace well there we have it all done um, it's been on and off now with the thermostat two or three times now. The system's working fine now. Boiler's working fine. It's all better. Um, again, thanks, Len. Enjoyed the video. I'm just going to do a close up on it. So here we are at the plenum. I made it out of two inch styrofoam just to make it easy. There's a stand I made. This is my old furnace, which is not running. My air conditioning unit's right there. And this is the from the boiler. 
which is going into my ductwork, which is going all through the house. The saw system's working awesome now. I recommend this to anybody. If you want to put the time and effort and money into it, a lot of work with the wood, but you know what? It's good for your health, and I enjoy doing it. Kevin Off Grid here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please press like and subscribe. And everybody, have a great day.